Hi, this is Adrian. So um, I got in a really big ColourPop haul, and I had gone ahead and done the Bondi Sands, their fake tanner, and so I'm darker, so I wanted to really go ahead and play with the dark, smoky look today. And um, so getting started, I went ahead and used the e.l.f. This is the Woe Glow in Sunbeam, and this is what I have on for my primer. Um, I did go ahead and use the L'Oreal True Match. This is in C2.5, and I can actually wear this color because I did the fake tanner. So that's where I am on that. And then I went ahead and used the bronzer from Wet n Wild. Uh, this is Palm Beach Ready, and so that's what this one looks like. As far as uh, the blush, I did get the e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is in Magic Hour. And what I wanted to show you was we have a dupe today. And the dupe is with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Peach Gasm. So I went ahead and uh, swatched both here. And uh, yeah, as far as my criteria for a dupe, uh, they go ahead and fit it. They aren't exactly the same. Um, I think probably the uh, Mogolo is a little bit shinier, um, but I think that pretty much they're a spot on dupe. So that's what I have right there. And then as far as uh, going ahead and moving into the eye look, went ahead and used the uh, usual suspects, which is the next Thicket Stick It, and this is the Light Cool Ash Brown, and then the Sky High, and this is in the Cosmic Black. And let's see. Went ahead and used the ColourPop um, well, they have two sister palettes, and so uh, when they restocked the ColourPop Avatar, I picked that up. And um, yeah, it's such a fun palette. It opens like a book, and so that's what it looks like. And they did the new palette, which is, um, and actually it's been out for a little while now, but I just now got around to picking it up, which is The Legend of Korra. And again, it's book style as far as the palette goes. And it goes ahead and opens up like this. So it's a really pretty palette. And I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and play with it. And I haven't done a warm look in a long time. And then with these two blacks, um, this one is actually really fun. You can really get a smoky. So you can go really light with it and get more of a gray smoky kind of feeling out of this one. And then this one is real matte black. So um really inspired me to do something bronzy and smoky today, which is what I've done. So um, I started with this color in the crease. Then I went ahead and put this right above it, so this on the brow bone. Um, I went ahead and used this one on the outer corner, this black as an eyeliner. Then I used a little bit of this um, right on the, well, it's right on the middle of the lid. And um, Let's see, a little bit of this right on the brow bone, right on the outside. And then I did go ahead and add in, since I had gotten the ColourPop multi-chromes, um, I went ahead and added this one in, and this is the one in Decode. And I had that on the inner corner coming out this way. Um, so, yeah, I had a lot of fun playing with some smoky, bronzy goodness today. And there was one other thing. Um, I went ahead and used this yellow, which has a green flip uh, right on the inner corner. So I think the look turned out really fun. And this is the way that turned out. And it definitely is smoky, bronzy, bronzy, smoky. And since I have a fake tan, I can actually wear it right now. So yeah, that part I really like. And then as far as going ahead and doing swatches, I did go ahead and do that as well. And so that's what I have there. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that uh, the multi-chromes, I know there were multi-chromes that came out with it, but I didn't get those. I got the pack that came out later. And I'm thinking that uh, Beetle, which is the multi-chrome that goes green to blue, is actually gonna go really well with, um, yeah, there's a dark blue here, a light blue, and then a white, and then with this red in the middle, that'll be really pretty. Um, you could pair it with green as well. Uh, but so uh, Decode and Beetle would definitely go very well with this palette. Um, 
The other one I have is Supernova, which is a really dark purple. And yeah, I don't think it fits into this palette at all. But um, so that was sort of what I found. Uh, the formula on this is really nice. I And um, like I said, these shades, which are the tie-dye shades, and I'm not sure exactly, they kind of feel like a super shock but i'm not sure exactly what they call them but these shades are a lot of fun to play around with and um it's the shade that i was saying can go really gray and smoky or you can keep on building it up and you know get it to um probably more of a burgundy but yeah it's a really fun shade to play around with and um i think that this is a really good palette a really different palette for ColourPop. i would definitely go ahead recommend uh picking it up and um other than that uh we have a dupe yay and uh, a really good new palette so i think this was a uh, uh, yeah really good video so thank you and have a good day and i'll see you later bye